Guys, I have a confession. I, I, I claim to be some guy that's into knives, but I don't, I, this is my first Bark River knife. How can this be? Why, how can I let this happen? Let's fix that. So this is an unboxing of the Bark River. Bravo EDC CPM 154. I did get it in the black carbon fiber. Get open. Oh my lord. Man. Trying not to show you the other side so you don't know my my addressicles. Paperwork don't need it. Alright. There's the good stuff. Like always. Obviously, I haven't seen this yet, so if something's all janky-danky with the knife, you're going to find out when I do. One thing I have to say before I get into this. Shout out to DLT Trading for their customer service. Holy cow. I had originally ordered this knife in... It was uh, like a black wood color. I can't remember the uh, exact name. But they sent me an email saying that the pins were very proud because the wood had shrank on the handle. So they were going to send it back to Bark River and it'd be like a one to three week lead time. And I was like, hey, hey, I can't wait that long, bro. I require immediate satisfaction. Oh, okay, okay. So they canceled that order and I ended up ordering the uh, carbon fiber with orange liners. So let's see, that's a nice box. Beautiful box. There you can see the barcode and the mattel and number here it is here's the star of the show the sheath <laughs> not really but it is a nice looking sheath yeah. oh that's kind of cool knife comes in a little little wrap in there watch me cut myself as I unwrap this. Oh my god, I probably just jinxed myself. I hope not. Holy crap, Wola. That's a that's a sharp little looking knife here. Let's get let's get all this gullamagoo out of the way here. Holy cow. There it is. CPM 154 carbon fiber with the orange liners. Love the accent. I don't know what it is about orange, man. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. Nice feel. Nice feel. Probably about a three finger grip, a little bit more, maybe. I can probably I can choke up on it too. This is my quest for the freaking perfect uh, EDC fixed blade. You know, because I like to have fixed blades every once in a while. Fits in the sheath like that. I don't know. The only fixed blade that I found that I really, really enjoy carrying for EDC is the uh, Bradford Guardian 3. I thought, I've had two, sold one, have one. Sheep's foot. That's the one I got. Alrighty. Let's talk about specs, baby. Let's read them off and see. Oh my God, production value going through the roof over here. Let's see. I did get the tan, the brown sheath for right-handed. The blade length is 3.375 inches. The blade thickness is 0.122 inches. The blade steel is CPM 154. The edge style is a plain edge. Handle material, black carbon fiber with orange liners. The blade or handle thickness is 0 0.84 inches. The weight is 3.5 ounces. It is a full tang knife and it is made in the USA. I gotta say, Bark River, holy cow. Paralysis by analysis much? I don't want options. I need, you, you gotta tell me what to buy because holy cow. I just sit at and look at the, at the webpage. 
for like an hour going, I don't know if I like this one or if I like this one or if I like this one. I don't know. I don't know. Nice lanyard tube. I like the sheath too. I like the sheath because for EDC, I like it because it rides a little high. It looks like it's gonna anyway. Hopefully. There it is. Digging it. Oh, maybe I should tell you how much I paid for it. 262 bucks, and let's do a size comparison. I'm still new. You'll have to pardon me here. What do I got? What is my knife I opened it with? There it is. There it is next to a uh, standard size Griptilian. So not a large knife. Not a dainty one though either. It's a, it's a good size. I really like it. I really do. Maybe I'll one more close up here. Nice little swell in the handles. Fits your mitts. Hey, hey, love me, hate me, do what you want with me. I'm in a weird mood. All right, see y'all later. Bye-bye.